We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. What's Morgan. Now? In the ship. We're I drowning in mud. For a man of the cloth, you have quite a way with words. That's how it usually works with you, isn't it? You're delusional. Again. Won't even look me in the eye, but you'll look at her all day. Doesn't matter what I say, you'll believe whatever fantasy you're currently living in. Fantasy? You think this is a fantasy for me? I do not have the energy for this right now. Oh, it's written all over you. I'm not stupid, I've been watching. Oh, that much is painfully clear. You're playing a dangerous game. Will you be quiet? I am trying to read here. Pig! Oh, hey, Dutch.
Looking good there, old fella. Go to hell. After you, old fella. After you. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I don't feel I understand it very much. Other human beings seem to understand why they were born, but for me, it seems like I was born to hurt and, and suffer myself. That doesn't always seem like a really good reason uh, I wish there was another way but here in this land uh, I feel very stuck but uh, <clears throat> um, I'm sorry to c complain I <laughs> This is just so. Hey, Erica. <sighs> you okay? Hello, Arthur. Don't work too hard. I work smart. Oh, you do, do you? All right, Morgan. You did good with that graze business. Like I told you, I was born, born in down manor houses. Let's just hope it was all worth the trouble. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Sure. Hey, Lenny. How's it going? Good. How you feeling? Much better. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, Arthur. Hey, Charles. Good to see you back on your feet. No rest for the wicked. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yeah. Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. <laughs> well, let's go then. Come on, we're not walking there.
You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Would you please... Is my company all right, then? So, you were saying? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oh, I almost forgot. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Something to do with the Greys. I thought I'd nab you first. You did? Okay, thanks. Hello, Alden. Hello, Joe Zah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a 